Welcome all my beautiful signs and souls of the Zodiac. Today I had a talk during my healing ceremony this morning and Spirit spoke and said you need to add something in addition to the cards that you're sending your beautiful subscribers. And they said do a collective but use the Oracle deck. And so I chose the beautiful deck, the Creativity deck today and it's a timeless message. So whenever you choose to look at it, it may mean something to you. One card may mean something to three or maybe all the cards may mean something to you and I will be reading them as a message collectively so it's timeless you can look at it anytime you want to see it so let me know how you enjoy it if you enjoy it and if you'd like me to continue doing them uh, in addition to the cards that I put out there every week for you anyway so let's see what we're starting off with the first card that we're starting off with is accomplishment and it says remember past accomplishments as a way to overcome present self doubt okay so I do think that um, you know it's easy it's great to look back on the successes that we've had and then say to ourselves why did that work out or look back and say I did this and that why didn't that work out but it wants you to look back at the accomplishments it wants you to question your motives what did you do what were you thinking of how did you step up into that space uh, you know, you might have been open-minded, you might have done research, uh, you might have been prepared. And that's what accomplishments are about, isn't it? Being prepared to go out there and do the task that you're going towards. So it's good to look back. It's good to, to reflect on how things were that we found success in was it a relationship that you succeeded at was it the happiness that you had at that time and period in your life was it the money you were making was it your job whatever the situation is you look back at it and look at the accomplishment that whatever that was brought to you at the time and it'll help you overcome any self-doubt today uh, maybe you know we've all been going through some struggles with the way the world is right now and the world being divided right now um, and a lot of people are feeling that energy there's a lot of empathic people out there in our world that not even aware that they are but they're feeling this energy and sometimes it brings in self-doubt that things aren't going to be permanent that things are not going to unfold in a successful progressive way so I think you've made some accomplishments all of us have at one point or another in our lives and it's good to reflect back and look at that and then write down write down those reasons that you think of why did that work why was I happy then why was money good what can I do that can bring me into my level of self-confidence again to move forward and have it repeat itself again and you can now coming in for your second card you've got cooperation your goal can benefit from you surrounding yourself with like-minded people okay now let's take you know let's look at this uh, you know in conjunction with the accomplishment maybe you were a part of a team maybe you were joined with someone who was on the same planet as you somebody could have been a relationship right you could have been in a, in a romantic relationship and you're not there anymore and now you you need to think about why was that a good one why did that work out why was that and why was it an accomplished beautiful relationship well maybe it was because you cooperated you negotiated you communicated creatively right now take it to the level of business why do some deals go down and some deals don't right why do we get more clients at times different times uh, you know than others we have to question that we have to set our goal and realize that we if we surround ourselves with a team of people who have the same goal who have the same interests who who want to join your team and as a as a group you cooperate and you do this and you and you and you cooperate and also you do this by collaboration so collaborating ideas collaborating you know shared ideas I think that you're going to benefit from that so maybe you know you're going to be joining a team hooking up with a team or maybe you're going to be creating your own team think about that because I do see that you're wanting to see accomplishment come in and this is all about how do you make that happen how is this going to work for you now you've got recharge so you're moving forward throughout this you're, you're you're doing and you're reflecting and you're looking back at why things were working out and maybe it was because you were with somebody else or a strong team of supportive energy around you now recharge says when the pace of life becomes too hectic know to slow down be mindful and go with the flow 
So often we, you know, we go out there, gangbusters, we're going forward with our, with all our beautiful ideas, we're energetic, we're enthusiastic, and we're excited, and we go forward at full speed. And then, you know, we decide we're going to reach out and do this, and we're going to reach out and do that. And before we know it, we have our eggs spread in all these different baskets, and we need to just slow down. Okay, I think you need to prioritize a little bit. It, it's great to get enthusiastic and excited about moving forward, but what you need to do is step back, pace yourself, and think about things. Oh, okay, let's talk about, let's, let's take this into the tarot now. Okay, what does temperance mean? Don't do things in excess, right? Uh, what does it mean? You take your time. Four of swords, it's time to pull back, recharge, take a rest. The page of pentacles, moving slowly, planning your move, being organized. So this is all about recharging, right? So pace yourself. Go with the flow. Often we just have to throw it out into the universe and say to the divine, okay, I've done my part. I'll let, I'll let it unfold as it should. And trust it. Trust that the universe has got your back. Always trust that the universe has got your back. And then you'll see things working out. But it's because you're making, you're doing the work. You're moving forward. You're, you're trying to get ahead and see this progression come in. It just doesn't land in our lap randomly. It would be wonderful if it did. Wouldn't that be the perfect world? We wouldn't have to work for anything, would we? But I do think that you may, some of you could be pushing yourself towards a goal or maybe you've had a lot of things on your mind, overtaxing your mind and that database up there. It's time now to slow down, okay? Go with the flow, all right? Let things unfold. Like they say, let go, let God. Now, your final card is time. I think all these cards are amazing, how they work together. Time can be seen to be both linear and spiral. Circle back to explore concepts from the past and create the future. So we're going right back. So crossing this reading here, you're going back to the first card accomplishments, right? It said, remember, okay, remember, uh, and go back. Okay, go back to the past. So time is telling you to do that again. So we started off with it and we're ending up with it. So I think that, you know, things are progressing here. You're working towards your goal. And now it can be seen as it's going to happen in the perfect time. Divine timing, right? Divine timing. We just said recharge. And I just said throw it out into the universe. I throw it out. Let go. Let God. And let it unravel as it should. If you've done your work and you've done everything right, which it says you have here basically. So now you're going to be able to create your future. Moving forward. Okay. You've reflected. You've you've recharged. You've, you know, you've regrouped. You've got together with those that you need to get together with to plan this move. And now... All you got to do is watch this beautiful future unfold for you. So it's about stepping up, isn't it? It's about all these steps that we take to lead towards our success. We've often wondered, why does somebody else, why is somebody else uh, that, you know, I've known my whole life and I, I felt we were close and we were alike, why are they so successful? And you question yourself, why am I not? What are they doing? And those, so you go back and you look at your past and say, well, you know, I had a great life then, or I had good times then, or I was in great relationships then, or I loved my job then, or I was making good money then. Look back and ask yourself, what were you doing? What, what as a collective, what as, you know, uh, in general, what were all those elements that brought about that accomplishment. And then you're going to look back, you're going to say, well, maybe I was working with a good team of people that were there to guide me. Maybe I need to be looking into that. Teachers, mentors, people around me that can guide me through this. Do your research. Get out there and do that because it says you're going to be able to recharge yourself and things are unfolding at the perfect time they should. Well, my beautiful signs and souls of the zodiac, let me know how you like this collective oracle timeless message today. And always remember that I do stand in that circle of love and light for you. And let's all continue to play safe, stay safe, and be safe. And I'll see you soon. Many blessings and much love.